Hello! In this video, I will show you how you play back the timecode show from your computer simultaneously to the music. A synchronized system with audio and Granny May 3 on PC on one computer can be very practical for pre-programming. Without hardware, you can work on an on-PC system with an ArtNet timecode. That must be then synchronized with an audio software. To achieve this, I use three different applications. A virtual MIDI cable is required to connect all these softwares. If you are interested with this topic, you should also look about my homepage www.feeds.de. Everything you need to know about the Grand May 3 and timecode will be explained there in detail. In addition to other free tutorials and downloads, there is also a service that allows you to convert your Reaper project directly to timecode shows for the Granime 3, as well as many courses and training units. Well, let's start it now. I already introduced the timecode sender software in the lesson on ArtNet timecode. And last but not least, the Reaper software again, to play the audio file. I will start with the software Loop MIDI. This software creates a common MIDI port through which the other programs communicate with each other. The name of this port is given below. I call this port MA Timecode. And with Add, I add this to the list. Finished. Next, the software Timecode Sender to generate a timecode. I choose my frame rate here 30 frames per second. The timecode settings are hidden behind this button. The ArtNet trigger selects the IP address on which the timecode is sent. The ArtNet signal will later be received by the Grandima 3. Now, the MIDI trigger. The port MA timecode already appears here. This signal will be processed by the Reaper software. Furthermore, I switch the MIDI timecode signal to short message. Don't forget, the settings must be confirmed with OK. When starting the timecode, I can already check whether data packages are arrived at the MIDI port. Now to the Reaper software. I can easily add an audio file by using drag and drop. Next I connect the software to the MIDI port. The MIDI settings are located under Options and Preferences. MIDI Devices. Here at the input I can already see my port MA timecode. Change to Enable. The output should also be switched to Enable. These were the settings for the MIDI connection. Next, I tell the software that it should react to an external timecode signal. In the menu item Options, External Timecode Synchronization, the synchronization must be switched on. There again, and then to the Synchronization Settings. This defines which signal is to be used at the control signal. I choose my MA timecode port and just specify which frame rate should be used. I want to check that briefly in the project settings. I go to the menu item File, Project Settings. And in the video layer, I find the 30 frames per second reflected. On the play button, I now find a small log that shows that the direct start has been blocked. But play has to be activated and the system shows that it is waiting for a timecode. I start the timecode and Reaper starts immediately. Perfect. Now only the Grandima 3 software. I start the on-PC software. In the menu, network area, I also check whether a session has started. The area with the green background indicates a running session. Now the connection to ArtNet. Menu, 
and then to DMX protocols. In the area Artnet, I can find my interface loopback. The Artnet reception must now be defined here. Switch on the line and set it to input. On the right hand side, it is now determined which timecodes locked the signal should be routed to. Slot 1 is right for now. Last but not least, you shouldn't forget to switch on the Artnet reception. I close this menu. And start the timecode. Perfect. The Reaper now runs synchronously with the Grand Masonry on PC software. If you like to know more about the Grand Masonry, especially about timecodes, how you get it inside of the desk, how you get it outside, and how you use Artnet timecodes, please visit me on feeds.de.